first home run for Judge in 2022. All rise. Here comes the Judge. Up for grabs. He's done it again. Amazing. Aaron Judge, you're having some kind of year. 60, 61, 62. I cannot believe the season that we've just seen. Aaron Judge is the American League single season home run leader. The AL King. Case closed. Is that good enough? My goodness. It's time to take a look at some of the futures. Yeah. And I, I like this. Yeah, we're n we're not allowed to gamble on them. No, no. You know, so we would never do I've that. I've never been allowed to. I mean for 20 oh, yeah, years that's now. right. You yeah, have no, never been allowed to. No, I am so allowed. sorry. Not on baseball. Um, not yeah, it, it's 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 uh, not allowed, right? I'm not good at it anyway. It's fine. That's no, don't say that. People are going to lean on you for information. We're I mean, looking... I'm good at baseball, but I'm not allowed to gamble on baseball. I, I tried gambling on other sports when I was young, and I lost the little money that I had, so I just stopped doing it. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So we're going to look at some season stat leaders from BetMGM, and I want to know, who do you have for home run leaders? Of course, we've got Aaron Judge at the mm -hmm. top at mm -hmm. plus 600, Pete Alonso plus 900. I'm just wondering, where do you go on this list? To me, it's Mike Trout. Uh, the way that his he's kind of evolved as a player. Uh, this guy hit 40 last year, uh, didn't even play 120 games. Uh, Would have, you know, if he had the same amount of at bats, played appearances as, as Aaron Judge, would, guy would have ended up with 52. Not not quite Aaron Judge's 62, obviously, but he's increased, you know, the kind of his his home runs per plate appearance, if you will, over the last several years. He has gotten to a point where, you know, athletically, he's still a phenomenal athlete, but he's become kind of a, a different hitter. And now he's, you know, more of, if you will, a home run guy. Uh, 40, like I said, 119 games last year. He, he had that long stint on the IL with the back issue. Without that, I just, I kind of imagine what he could do. And at plus 1,100, I mean, this is probably the best talent we've ever seen on the field. I'd take him. If he stays healthy, I think this guy has a chance to hit 60. So why not? It's good plus money. What about RBIs? This one's really easy for me. Uh, he led the league last year. Uh, well, tied for the league lead. You see them both up there. Uh, but I'm going to take Pete Alonso. Just because of what's in front of him in that Met lineup, uh, the fact that there's a chance they move McNeil up to the top of that lineup, who's a 400-type on-base guy. Obviously, you've got Nimmo. And they have options because Marte can be up there. Uh, whether or not Lindor is in front of him or not, uh, very good chance that Pete has a ton of opportunity to drive runs in just like he did last year. And he's really going to be one of their main run producers. I mean, him and Lindor. So why not on a team that's going to have a ton of guys on base, a ton of traffic in front of him, why would you not take Pete Alonso. All right, who else you got on this wins leader? Wins leader, this is this is a good one for me, and and I, I don't even know if he's on this board. He's he's not. Uh, look, he's look not. At, I mean, not even on this board. Zach Wheeler. How about that? Fifty, 50 to one. Fifty, 50 to one. So, so that's plus, plus five thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Plus I mean, 5, what he's got now in the back end of the bullpen. We talked about this a little bit earlier in the in the show. This guy can go deep into games if if he needs to, and he he has many times uh, led the league in innings. I think two years ago. But what he can do for you is when he's hot and you can ride him for eight innings, you can do it. Well, now that you have such a, a, a locked-in bullpen behind him and a, a great back end. Now, all of a sudden, when he has that start where it's six and he's you know just starting to show a little bit of, okay, maybe he doesn't have everything today, we can get him out of there. He doesn't have to push to seven and eight and have an, an extra run or two kind of come on his, on his ledger. Now he gets out of there after six, ends up getting the win. I, I think he's got a really good shot at the win. I love the long odds. All right, what about saves leader? Saves Emmanuel Clase. I mean, I think – with the Guardians and what they're going to have this year, I think they're going to win a lot of ball games. Uh, but it's going to be similar to last year. The, the offense, I think, is better, but I don't think that they're necessarily going to run away with a ton of games. So, Clase being one of the two best closers in the game, which he is, Edwin Diaz is, uh, to me, the best closer. But I would put Clase right there as, like, almost a, a 1B, if you will. Uh, with this team and the way that they're shaped up, the way that they're going to go about winning ball games, I just think he has the best opportunity to be in as many of those three run or less ball games and has a really good shot at, at taking that crown.